Hey Stacy, um, I just wanted to show you briefly um, how to package a document. Now I'm hoping that you have the ability to open up his document and um, package it. If not, then we'll have to figure out something else. But this is something I'm working on right now. So I am going to show you the process that you need to go through in order to package a file to ensure that all of the links and fonts follow the InDesign file when you mail it to um, <clears throat> when you mail it to Ashley. So first of all, you're going to go under File and you're going to go down to Package. And in this package, it's going to give you a summary of everything that's going on in the document. Now, for example, this little exclamation point indicates that there's something going on that shouldn't be going on. And I'm thinking probably what it is is the RGB color space. Most often for print, you want a CMY color space if you're sending it to a commercial uh, printer. But since it's in-house, it's probably not an, a deal, for me anyway. I'm not sure what yours will find. But anyway, all right. So we're going to go to... printing instructions, you can just bypass that by saying continue. And then it's going to tell you that you need to save it. Um, and I'm going to save it out to my desktop just so I can get rid of it easily. The things that you want to look for when you're saving it is make sure that the fonts are copied. That's checked. Make sure that you copy linked graphics. That's checked. And make sure that you update any graphic links that were changed maybe in their native software. Um, while uh, working on it. You want to make sure that's checked. This IDML, that's just simply allowing whomever receives the document to um, uh, to open it maybe in an older version of InDesign and then also include a PDF for print. So those are the ones that I always ensure that are um, in <clears throat> checked when I package it. And I'm going to package it. This just simply says don't copy fonts unless you're going to, unless you have the right to, um, and we no normally do. This means that there's overset text, which is more text in a box than I had room for. So if I were actually packaging th this up to send it for print, I would definitely need to check that out. I'm going to click OK. Missing or modified links. That's definitely. Um, a problem as well. Of course, this is, document is just in process, so these are um, these are warnings that I would get, but that you probably won't get. And then, um, after all of those little warnings, it says could not package the documents, um, cannot copy necessary linked files. Well, that's a problem. But anyway, so you've seen the process. What I wanted to have you see. I wonder why I can't. I'm going to open another one so I can go through the entire process here for you. Hmm. I'll try to open this one then and <clears throat> All right, here's one. We're going to go to File again and Package. And again, this is the warning that you need to pay attention to if you're actually sending it for the final time. Hopefully you won't get any of those. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save it out to the desktop. And I'm just going to name this Test so I know to get rid of it. Click Save. Click through here. Make sure that all of these are shown, and then I am going to package it. Here comes the warnings, overset text, links, and then hopefully this will allow me to, yeah, I did. All right, so well, the reason why I wanted to go through the process is because I wanted you to see then what's in the test folder. Um, <clears throat> in the test folder, you'll see all the fonts that were used in the document. You'll see all of the links that were used in the document. You'll see that there's a test um, or the IDML that allows me to open it in older versions of InDesign, the regular InDesign file, and then the PDF file. So again, then you would have to send all of that test folder to Ashley. Hope that helps and if you have a problem with it or if you need to access it <clears throat> on a computer that has InDesign. If you don't have InDesign, you can always go over to the graphics lab and um, somebody over there will help you with it. I'm not in today, um, but I could come in if you needed some help. 
All right. Thanks. Talk to you later, Stacy.